All right, what's up gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be part two of the How to Flow series. I'm gonna to touch base on throttle control today and I figured this would be a great place to do it. My friend Bad Company sent me three spots and I figured this one would be the best for throttle control because in tight proximity like this with all the trees and small areas, throttle control is gonna be necessary. Look, here, here's somebody already flying. Look at that throttle control. Look at it. We got trees, we got loopties, we got trees. All right guys, so let's get straight into this. Drone feels good. I just did some repairs. Let's feel it for a second. All right, so before I get to the office spot, I want to talk about drone builds, um, KV and stuff. So I used to fly the Mr. Steel motors. They were 2345s. They're very low KV, which helps you with throttle control. Um, the more powerful the drone is, the harder it is going to be to control. So having slower motors it's going to be easier for you to not over pull out of stuff and stuff like that so my drone now runs the pacer v2s um which are 2550s and to me they're personally a little too fast so inside my controller i slowed it down to um 90 percent I'll show you guys how to do that when I get home. So to set up a throttle cut in your controller, you're pretty much just going to go into your settings. Most controllers should have this. Um, down to your inputs. See how everything's at 100 but my throttle? So I changed the throttle to 90, but if you see, the offset is now negative 10. It always has to equal 100. So if you go 80, it would have to be negative 20 and so on. And that will keep your whole resolution your whole stick so it doesn't only go up to here and then that part's just dead it actually uses this from 0 to 90 and that will give you your full resolution um, but pretty much by doing that it allowed me to get my throttle here here's a full throttle so it's fast but not too fast it's slow enough that it gives me enough resolution on my stick where I don't input too high and I'm pretty locked in. So, um, this allows me to have a lot more control and have better feel in places. Another thing that's gonna help you is your camera angle. I'm at like, I'd say about 15. Um, I don't ever really mess with it. That's something I wouldn't mess with because you're gonna get locked into that for every axis of your roll. So the second you change that, it's gonna change everything. Um, the only time I would ever change is if I was like chasing cars or something because when you do that You of course need to keep up, but um That being said like 15 is a safe spot for this type of flying and you could still go fast with a slower drone and a lower camera angle You have to look at the ground a lot, but if you're like this Like look i'm hauling ass There's no reason to have an overpowered drone unless you're racing or if you fly juicy you might want it because you fly big open fields um for me like the only downside is if you want to power loop something big like my a lot of my friends could come go like this and power loop this whole building and for me oh i actually did it this time but for me it's usually hard because my drone just doesn't have the power to do that i have to be on throttle a lot and i just don't typically do that so it doesn't matter usually but now that we talked about the drone and this battery's dead, um, let's get into it. All right, so like I always say, it's pretty hard to explain stuff while flying. So I'm gonna try my best right now, but if it kinda, if it's hard for me to say what I wanna say, when I go home, I'll talk over it or maybe I'll like play a little lift off just so it will be like a pressure free um, situation and it'll be easier for me to explain step by step well, let's get into it so I'm just kind of starting flying in here I haven't really checked out over here yet let's see what's here let's check out the staircase I haven't checked this out either so it's a little tight but it's doable um, that being said earlier when I was talking about how your throttle should, shouldn't be too strong a full punch shouldn't send you to the moon. It should give you, for sure, power, but not to the moon. That's gonna help, especially spots like here. I know on camera it never looks so tight, but right here is super tight. Like, beyond tight.
and when every time you barely touch the throttle you'd hit the branch right there you know you need to be able to so i'm home now i don't know why i just randomly stopped talking i was probably just getting annoyed at how complicated this place is while trying to explain stuff oh by the way the reason you keep seeing me hit the ground like that it's because my osd wasn't displaying my battery and i was too lazy to try to fix it that day so i just kept killing my batteries i'm pretty much just gonna let this video play out and after that i'm gonna get straight into liftoff i think it'll be easier for me to kind of show you guys hands-on like what not to do and i'll be able to actually think because it's not a real life scenario so my brain could actually calm down a little bit All right, that's my favorite trick right there. You probably see me do those a lot. That's addicting. Fuck. Dude, I hate trees. I'm gonna make some stickers soon that say fuck trees. Let me know down in the comments if you'd actually buy one. Because as a drone pilot, fuck trees. <laughs> and handicap signs. Those are the two things I hit the most and they're always in the way. All right, so let's get right into liftoff. We're gonna be playing on free flight for a single player. Uh, my computer doesn't really handle simulators too good. So we're going to skip all these detailed maps, go to a blank map, and Bando. This is my favorite map. Um, to be honest, I'd probably play this map anyway because there's so much to do. We're going to be using my friend Andre's quad. That's brick wall FPV. I don't use beta flight, so I didn't know how to tune it or how to get my quad feeling good. So he gave me his. I liked it, and that's what I use. Um, I'm sure you could probably download it too if you just search that on the community. So, let's try default. Alright, so I haven't played the sim for a while, so I'm going to kind of just fly around and get locked into the sticks. Um, one thing about a sim is gravity just does not work. So, if you're used to real life momentum, you kind of have to adapt to being more on the throttle to make it work. Um, by that, I mean if I come out here and throw myself, see how I don't really sink? So, instead, when I play on the simulator, I do lots of rolls and I'll kind of go like this and I'll roll down. And by doing that, I'm giving throttle when I'm upside down and it guides me where I wanna go. Um, this is something I do in real life as well, but I don't do it so heavy. So in real life, I'll probably only throttle like this much. And in the simulator, I'm throttling like this much. And that's just because the gravity doesn't work. Um, but that being said, this is something that's good to learn because if you could do quick movements like this, it's going to help you when you get in a tight spot and then once you learn how to do movements like that and then mix in something like this like a slow movement it's going to give you that flow you want to be able to be locked in do some quick stuff like this and then do a slow movement like that and then take over again and that's going to give like a crazy effect when you could snap back and forth damn it i was trying to go in there all right we got it this time So, simulator, you gotta be heavy on the throttle, but it works. So, another thing you could do is with that flick, that throttle th flick, say you're flying in here, you're coming, and then you shoot out here, then you realize, oh fuck, there's nothing out here. You could flick yourself back and add the style like that. And instead of killing your whole run, we went out here, shot back. And kept it going. That time kind of got a little messed up. I don't know what I clipped, but you get the point. You could save yourself with flicks. Wherever you face, just because you're not looking there. All right, that's a hard thing to remember is because you, when you fly, you're seeing where you're flying, so it feels like where you look is where you go, but where you really go is above you. So put above you where you want to go. So if I go this way, I'm like, I want to turn completely the opposite way and shoot that way. I'd put that way all right so at this point i'm pretty much just bouncing back and forth showing you guys how you can go any direction um i'm gonna end the video here let me know down in the comments what you want to see on the next how to flow series well not the next one the next one's going to be how to shoot gaps and how to aim for gaps but the one after that let me know if you have any ideas peace